Okay, we back for the reassembly. And in case uh, I was reviewing my footage, and in case it wasn't clear about the drinking tube part when I was taking out the voice, um, the exhale valve cover, um, I would not suggest taking out this tube. Um, I'm not sure if it's common among you know 50 series owners or um, S10 and above mask owners um, about taking this tube out and it becoming like super loose. But um, yeah, I kind of just you know took the gamble because I'm missing my coupler anyways. But yeah, I would not, I would probably not suggest taking that out. So that, that's just a disclaimer. Um, so please do not get mad at me if it happens to you. But if it does, I, I still apologize anyways. Okay, but we'll get back to the reassembly. All right, so what do I want to do? What do I want to start with? You know, I could probably start with the head harness. All right, so we're going to get the temple strap. If I can get it, you're gonna feed it through this uh, topmost hole on the left, or left and right if you're doing a full assemb disassembly and not just practicing it for fun. Okay, so this one's a little bit weird now since we're going backwards. Okay, here we go. You got it through the hole, and then this one doesn't have that two holes like the other um, buckles, so. And it actually locks onto these Velcro pads. Okay, that's not perfect, um, but that's close to what I have it set as. Um, and that's the temple strap. Now we have the brow strap. You're going to get it through this door, the middle door, not this one on the bottom, because that's, that's nothing. It won't go, do anything or do you any good. Get it to the middle, then to the topmost. And have it set like that. And there you go, that's your brow strap. And the bottom most is the cheek strap, which is the most easiest. This one only has two holes, yeah. So you put it to the bottom one, feed it to the top. Pretty straightforward. It's just not easy to do all the time. Okay, there we go. Oop, too much. And then from here, um, you know, I might just do the self-sealing disc. Okay, self-sealing disc. I showed you what they looked like on the underside. You want to get this. And then here, I, I kind of bend it like that. And then so I have a clear field of view on the, I don't know, dong, whatever you want to call it. And then you should see it latch onto the actual mask. And then you want to ensure that they're flush. Um, you could just get your two fingers and you see this inner ring you press on it and then if it comes out it's and it goes back in you're you're chilling all right next we'll do the here i might do the inner valves first or actually we'll start the okay exhale valve my middle top one it's 278 right yeah 278 same process as self-sealing this oh is that on camera There you go, it's sitting flush now. You can do a visual confirmation if you don't trust your own handiwork. And then, we'll go inside. Okay, my left side, onto my left valve assembly. Let's see. Oh, and feel free to sit down during this um, process, because uh, this is a little bit more difficult than the disassembly. So yeah, sit down. Feel free to take your time, unless you're rushing it in the, <laughs> the Seabrin scenario, which I don't suggest. Um, but yeah, okay, there we go. We got the two internal inhale valves. And then this is my left one, um, which is signified by that number one for me. Um, you want to get it? Just re redo the process you did for taking it out. Just step into place. And then you can do a confirmation. If it's not wiggling too much, you probably got it in right. Yeah, okay. And then let me pull up my sleeves a little bit. And then we have the right side. This is a two, okay. Let's see if that's on camera. I'm sorry if some of my things are not on camera, you guys. I'm trying to focus on the actual mask itself and not my camera. Um, but yeah, if there's anything in the comments that you were confused on, just let me know. And I'll try to help you by describing it. 
or if it worse comes to worse, I'll make a whole ass new video. All right, and then what should we do from here? Uh, hey, let's go back to the front. Let's get the exhale valve cover. Then you want to make sure this is like that. Get this door out of the way and hold it like this. And then let's see. Okay, and then you just click it into place. So let me get my hand inside. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but that was not intended. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's in there. Yeah, that's definitely in there. Okay, and then you want to close this back up. The I forgot what it's called, but um, it's for VPUs and stuff like that. The M51. You know CVC communication uh, line. I'm gonna get this tube back in, which I again um, I don't suggest you guys taking that out unless you really wanted to, but it could you know um, compromise the integrity of the mask. So just my disclaimer again. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could put the filters back on. I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so you get this, your mask. Let me get a secure handle on it. Put this, and then. You should hear that click or not sometimes. You'll just feel it when it's like on there securely. Okay, uh, filters on. Now we just have the oral nasal cup, retaining ring, and internal drinking tube. About 6 minutes 47 seconds now. Okay. So what you want to do first is get this oral nasal cup into place. And here, I'm going to sit down for a second. Oh, yeah. Let's see, am I getting in the way of that? No, I'm just going to take off my jacket. Give me one second. Sorry, I try to wear like a different, you know, top every time. But I guess you just have to see my ugly hands now. All right. And then, basically what you want to do, let's get this old nasal cup into place. You'll just see these, um... I'm not sure how to explain it on camera, but you should be able to see it really easily. You just want to press these uh, parts in, it's secure, and then when you just, the way I confirm it is I go to the top, the peak of the oral nasal cup, and I just feel it. If it's loose, I probably didn't put it in enough, but it should be like this, where you can just turn it like this, and the um, the forward most position doesn't, you know, give way. It should be alright. I think I might have just made it come on loose. Okay. And the retaining ring, it should be this side up. You want to get it. Place it into position like this. And then you want to use two, it's a two-hand process for this one. Um, or for me at least, I hold it like this. And you just press the retaining ring into place all over. This is actually the most like inconsistent thing I've been able to put in. Because I never know how to get it in specifically. So you kind of just have to find your way. See? Like, I, don't, I didn't even do it right right now. It's loose like that. You don't want it like that. You want it to sit. You should hear a click, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Oh, crap. Hope I can do this on camera. But don't, don't, uh, yeah, don't worry. It's not broken or anything. It's just a little bit we weird and tricky to get in. I wish I could do things as perfect on camera as I do with off camera. Okay, I may not be able to do that right now. Um, but basically, you kind of have to figure it out. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to show you guys. But I don't think I'll be able to get it right now. And I don't want to, you know, waste your guys' time. Alright, yeah, sorry about that. You just have to figure that out, but make sure it clicks into place, and to do a check, you just press this, and if it... Did I get it in? Holy crap, I got it in. <laughs> Shit. Okay, you just press this, and if that other part comes up, you'll know it's not in place, and it should be flat and flush against the surface to know it is in place. And then we have this internal drinking tube. Right now, it's in the off position, so you'll put it... Actually, let's turn it, turn it open, and then I do like this. So, if it's open, I put it in open position, right? 
open position, you turn off, then you can turn it more if you really wanted to. I guess I did it perfect this time. All right, that's everything, but the, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> the, my retaining ring came loose. Uh, I'll worry about that later. And then you have the polycarbonate outsert. Basically what you wanna do, I push it on one side at a time, but you can do it too if you really wanted to. You're gonna get this. You're gonna wiggle it in there. It's in place now. And then same thing for this one. With just less, with a more restricted range of motion. You just want to press this into place. Okay, does that look on to you? I think that is. Excuse my dry ass hand, it's really cold and my hand started bleeding the other day, which was not very cash money because they were getting dried. Okay, but I'm pretty sure that's the, yeah, that's the full disassembly and reassembly of the Avon M50 gas mask. Apart from this ring, which I could not get on for the camera. But yeah, you should be able to press it into place yourself. Um, and if you, if, if you don't get it, try to keep getting it because it could compromise the oral nasal cup. But yeah, okay. Well, that's your basic disassembly and reassembly of your Avon M50 gas mask. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike and leave it me in the comments why you didn't like it. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. And hope you have a Merry Christmas if you're watching this around that time of the year. Peace.